Hello and welcome back to another super efficient build guide and today we're covering the production of fuel from 300 crude oil per minute using the vanilla recipes. Now for this build we will be sending the fuel directly onto fuel generators and we'll set up this power plant for peak fuel consumption alongside the fuel refineries. For those who are not aware, fuel consumption scales with factory power consumption. So whilst your factory is running at sub 2000 megawatts of power, you will find yourself with saturated pipelines, but please do not add any more fuel generators as as soon as your power hits over 2000 megawatts, your pipelines will start to run dry. With that in mind, I shall mention that our website, Satisfactory Tips, is now online and I'm going to attempt to add all these layouts to the website as soon as possible. So if you want a step-by-step -step guide with photos of this build, then do check that out as well. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, for this build, you will require 300 crude oil, five refineries, 14 fuel generators, one awesome sink, 180 megawatts power to start, and this will be placed on a 23 by seven grid. Once you've got your grid set up, we will start by placing five refineries against the bottom right hand corner. We should have enough space available to place a pipeline joint in front of each of the refinery inputs along the bottom edge of the grid. And once you've placed all these refineries, do add those pipeline joints in front of each refinery and also connect the pipelines together with the crude oil line input. Now we shall set all the refineries to the fuel recipe that requires crude oil. Now we shall place our first three fuel generators. They should have their inputs in front of the refineries and should be placed starting against the last edge of the grid along the top of the fourth row. Next, place a merging line in the center of the fourth column in front of the refineries and these should be stacked three high and connected with elevators so that we can lift the resin above the pipelines and then have them flowing to the left. Now please make sure that this is on a Mark III conveyor line as at full capacity we will be running a total of 150 resin along the line. At this point you will also want to place pipeline joints in front of the generators in the middle of the fourth row beneath the manifold. Connect the generators and the refineries to the pipeline joints and note that you will need a separate pipeline joint in front of the second, fourth and fifth refinery and then connect all these pipelines together. Next, we need to place the last generators. So against the top three generators, place five more generators along the same line and opposite this line, and in line with the inputs, we will place a further six fuel generators running along the front of the fourth column. Next, place pipeline joints in front of the inputs and run the pipeline from the refinery section all the way through to the last generator. With all the generators in place, select one of the generators and underclock it to 33% clock speed and at this point all your generators should be hooked up to the pipeline. Now our final job is to place an awesome sink opposite the last generator. To get the same placement as me, you will need to place a merger stacked three high above the pipeline in front of the last generator. Now grab the awesome sink and place it three places away from the merger and you should now be able to hook an elevator to the awesome sink. Finally, place stackable conveyor poles above the center pipeline and connect the resin merging the line all the way to the awesome sink. With that done, you've completed this layout. Now do note that you can use the resin for other options rather than just sinking it, but we'll be talking about resin at a later date. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If so, why not drop us a thumbs up and check out our website for more layouts. Also, if you like our content, 
why not follow me on Twitch or subscribe to me on here if you haven't already. Anyway guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching this video and as always, ciao for now.